Hi everyone, it's me Dr. Sikandar Ali. I am assistant professor at University of Haripur. I am teaching you software construction and development. Today we are going to take Java Lab 10 class. So it is a part of the ther uh, practical class and today we are going to discuss string in Java. So this class is based on the Java string. First of all, we need to define what is string. In Java, string is basically an object that represents sequence of character value. In other languages, string is considered sequence of character, but in Java, string is an object, and that object represents sequence of character. An array of character works same as Java string. So we can also declare array of character and that will be equivalent to Java string. For example, we have a character array ch and we have a character element enclosed and comma uh, enclosed in uh, single quote and separated by comma. So we have a sign Java T point. Now we want to convert this ch array to a string. So we will declare s is an object of type string and we will create uh, s object uh, as we ordinarily create an object. So, and then we will pass ch is an argument. So, same way, if you pass array, array to an object is argument. So, we will pass this array as an argument to the object s, which is of type string. This statement will be equivalent to string s, and then we directly sign uh, string and double quotation mark as you know that the character array is equivalent to the string and double quotation mark so this statement is also equivalent to the above statement so in the first statement we have character array and then we convert character array to string so this is equivalent to this statement java string class Java string class provide a lot of methods. Java string is a big class and they that class have a lot of methods and these methods perform different operation on string such as compare, concatenate, equal, split, length, replace, compare to, intern, substring and many more. So these are there are a lot of uh, built-in function which do something uh, which operates on string I will do something related to string so these all are part of the Java string as in C++ a lot of string are part of the string header file so here a lot of methods of built-in function a method is equivalent to built-in function here so a lot of methods which are part of the java string we will discuss these methods and the later part of the lecture the java dot language dot string class implements serializable comparable and character sequence interface these are the type of interfaces and these are implemented in the java dot language dot string class so diagrammatically we can show the string class implements character sequence comparable and serializable character sequence interface the character sequence interface is used to represent the sequence of character string string buffer and string builder builder classes implement it so how to implement character sequence interface 
it can be implemented by string string builder and string buffer class it means we can create string in java by using these three methods the first method string we were declare we were study and detail in today's lecture and string buffer and string builder related some points to string buffer and string builder we will discuss in the next week lecture so character sequence it can be implemented by string string buffer and string builder the java string is immutable which means it cannot be changed java string is immutable it means we cannot change the string once it is defined or declared so if you change a string it means you are creating the new instance the new instance of a string object whenever we change any string a new instance is created for mutable the string you can use string buffer and string builder the java string by default is uh, immutable if we want to a string to be mutable changeable so we can implement the string by string buffer and string builder so these there are three methods to to implement the interface character sequence by string if you implement by string it means it will be immutable unchangeable but if we implement by string buffer and string builder it will be mutable it will be changeable so in today's lecture we will learn the first implementation of the character sequence interface and the next two we will study in detail in the upcoming lecture generally string is a sequence of character so what is string in java is we we study in other languages string is a sequence of character but complementary to these languages java string is an object and that represents a sequence of character the java dot language dot string class is used to create a string as we study in the previous slide how to create a string object so there are two methods to create a string object the first a uh, method is by string letter the second is by new keyword so we we are going to learn the first method in more detail java string letter is created by using double quotes for example we have to declare a variable with the name uh, uh, we have to declare an object for example the name of the object is s and the type of the object is string and now we are going to assign a string constant welcome and double quotation mark to these object to the object s so this method is called creation of string object by string letter why java uses the concept of string letter to make java more memory efficient because no new object are created if it exists already in the string constant pool so why java use the concept of string letter so the answer is that to make the memory usage more efficient so it means if we declare one string and we we declare the same string again so there oh, only one object will be created in the second for the second instance no object will be created in the memory for example we have string object s1 and we assign welcome and as we declare another object s2 and we assign the same string again so it doesn't create a new instance of that object and the memory only one instance will be stored and it will be pointing by two object 
So each time you create a string litter, the Java virtual machine check the string constant full. First, if the string already exists in the pool, a reference to the pool instance is returned. If the string doesn't exist in the pool, a new string instance is created and placed in the pool. So Java maintain a pool for the string and if the string is not avail already not available in the pool then it is created otherwise no no object uh, no instance is created if it is already available in the pool in the above example only one object will be created so why only one object will be created because the string already exists in the pool firstly java virtual machine will not find in the first case in the case of S1, the Java virtual machine will not find any string object with the value welcome in string constant full. That is why it will create a new object. After that, it will find in the second S2 case, it will find the string already available in the pool. So it will just make a reference it will not create a new object but will return the reference to the same instance let's see the diagram for this scenario explanation so first time when we create object s1 and uh, it will create a memory in the heap and it will pointing to the welcome whenever we declare another object and it also have the same string so it will just make a reference and it will not store another copy of the same string so why we use string letter we using string letter in order to efficiently use the memory the second method is by new keyboard so we declare an object with the new keyboard as we declare any other object and then we directly assign the string as the arguments so creates two object and one reference variable in such case java virtual machine will create a new string object in normal non-full heap memory and the letter welcome will be placed in the string constant pool the variable s will refer to the object in a heap non full memory let's see a complete example we have public class string example and this we have main method we are going to declare s1 is object and we assign java is a string now we declare character rsch and we declare another object is 2 and we convert the character array to string and the third we declare we create object is 3 and now we assign a new string example create java string by new so in the first we create by one method by letter the second by the third by new keyboard and the second we convert the array of character to a string and now we are going to print s1 s2 and s3 so the first will show the java which we sign the second will show string which we can work to the string and the third will show example let's discuss immutable string in java in java string object are immutable it means it is unmodifiable or unchangeable we cannot change the value of the string unless if we not created another copy of the string once string object is created its data or state cannot be changed but a new string object is created we can create a new string object which will also point it to the same data then we can change the state of that uh, object the state of that string through another object but through one object we cannot change the state of the 
string so that's why we say in java string are immutable although there are some method we will discuss in the upcoming lecture how to make the java string mutable let's try to understand the immutability concept by the example given below for example we have a class test immutable string we have public method main method and we are going to create s is an object of type string and we assign such an is a string now we want to add another word with such an so we want to concatenate we are using the string method concatenate now we want to append 10 docker at the end of search in. and now we are going to print the value of the object s so although we create assign another object and we want to concatenate another object but the object is we want to concatenate another string with the string pointed by s object so actually s will still be pointing pointing to such n although we will in memory we will have tendoker as well so this program will print the search in only why because we not create another object to point to s dot concatenate if we create another object here before the s dot concatenate then it will point to the whole the whole string search in tendoker but in this case it will only point to search in that is the reason we say java string object are immutable unchangeable here such an is not changed but a new object is created with the such an docker that's why string is known as immutable now we are going to create another object okay let's see the diagram of uh, this so s is an object it will point to search in although we concatenate such in then docker another object uh, is created but we uh, we not point this another string is created but we not point this to any object so if we want to print the value through s so it will print only the search in value because there is no reference object with search in tendoker string so now let's see how to control this if we explicitly assign uh, the new string search in tendoker to a reference variable it will refer to search in tendoker object for example we have class test immutable string one we have public method uh, a main method and we created object s of type string and we assign search in to this object is now we want to concatenate we concatenate s dot concatenate along with the old value we add 10 docker at the end and then we assign to s again so now in this case if we want to print the value of s pointed by s so it will print search in 10 docker because we update we assign it again so that's why we say string in java are immutable now the question is that why string object are immutable in java so because java used the concept of string letter it didn't create the string if it is available in the memory suppose there are five reference variable are referred to one object say chain so if one reference variable changes the value of the object it will be affected by all the reference variable that is why string object are immutable in java it is stored as a centralized position so if many object are pointing as a reference so if we change the value so it will be changed for all other object as well so that's why java keep the string immutable 
Java string comparison. We can compare string in Java on the basis of content and reference. There are two ways to compare the string on the basis of content and on the basis of reference. It is used in authentication by equal method, sorting by compare to method and reference matching by equal operator. So there are three ways by equal method, by compare to method and by equal operator. These the name of these methods are equal method is called authentication by compare to method is called sorting and by equal operator is called reference matching. So we can compare string by three method authentication sorting reference matching. So there are three ways to compare string by equal method, by equal operator, by compare to method. So let's discuss the first in detail. So let's compare the string by equal method. The string equal method compares the original content of the string. It compares value of string for equality. String class provide two methods. Public boolean equal and then we pass object of uh, another string compare the string to the specified object and the second is public boolean equal ignore case string another uh, we pass another string so in the first case if we write ali is capital and another ali is uh, small so it will it will respect the the capital and the small it will distinguish between the upper and the lower case but if we write the second implementation equals ignore case then whatever the case is they will just compare the character if it is written upper and lower so in first case it will be case sensitive and the another in the second case it will not be case sensitive java compare string example so we have test string comparison one is a class we have main method we are going to create uh, object s1 and assign a string search in we have another string object s2 and we also assign the same string search in now we are going to create another string three but on another method new string and we also assign the same string search in. and now we have a string object 4 in which we assign something else so actually if we look all the three implementation or the three strings are same so it will create one copy for that and one for the other so only two two copies of string will be stored in the memory now we want to compare and then print the results of comparison s1 dot equals s2 so it will be true yes s1 is equal to s2 s1 dot equal s3 yes s1 is also equal to s3 and if we compare s1 to 4 so these are different it will show false so if we look the output of this program it will print true true and false because 1 and 2 is equal 1 and 3 is equal and 1 and 4 are not equal another example of string comparison we have class comparison 2 we have main method we have one object s1 and we sign search in we have s2 we sign search in but in capital we want to print s1 dot equals s2 so it will print false because we didn't write ignore so it will not ignore it will be case sensitive so these two words are similar but the cases are different so it will show false because these are not equal now if we write s1 dot equals ignore case 
second implementation. So it will ignore the case. If we ignore the case, we finish the case sensitivity. So it will will show true because the words are similar, but the case is different. So in first, it the equal will return false. In the second implementation, it will return true. If we look at output, so they will print false for the s1 dot equals s2 and true for the s1 dot equals ignore case is true. Second method is by string compare a string compare by equal operator. So we have example test comparison test string comparison three is a class inside the class body we have main method we have one object s1 of type string and we assign sechain string to s1 object we have s2 object we assign sechain again and the same way we create a new uh, object s3 and we assign sechain is an argument now we are going to compare s1 s2 so yes s1 is equal to s2 it will it will uh, print true now we comparing s1 to s3 it will show false why it will show false because s3 refer to instance created in non full here the first the letter by literal method it will create the instance in pool but in the new operator method it will create the instance in non pool so these two are not equal so the first will show true the second will show false although the string are equal but they are pointing to different one in pool and one in non pool the equal operator compare reprints not values why the second statement show false the reason is that the answer is that the equal operator compare reprints not values in the first case the equal method it show true but in second method equal operator it show false so the reason is that the equal operator compare only the reference not the value but the equal method compare the actual value so we are going to learn the third method of java string comparison third method is string comparison by compare to method the string compare to method compares value lexicographically and return an integer value to describe if the first string is less than equal to or greater than the second string if it is equal to it will return zero if it is greater it will return one and if it is less than it will return a negative value minus one suppose s1 and s2 are two string variable if s1 equal to s2 it will return zero if s1 greater than s2 it will return positive value usually one if s1 is less than s2 it will return negative value usually minus one so let's see the example of third method of the string comparison by compare to method this method compare the string lexicographically for example we have a class test comparison for we have main method inside the class we have object s1 of type string and we assign search in we have another object of type string s2 of type string and we assign the search in again and we have a third object s3 of type string and this this time we assign return now we want to compare s1 dot compare to s2 so since the s1 and s2 are equal so it will return zero now we want to compare s1 to s3 so s1 is greater than s3 so it will return the positive value and next time we want to compare s3 to s1 so 
S3 is less than S1 and S1 is greater than S3 so it will show negative value so the output will be 0 1 and minus 1 now let's see how we concatenate string string concatenation in Java in Java string concatenation forms a new string that is the combination of multiple string there are two ways to concatenate string in java the first method is by plus string concatenation operator and the second method is by concate method let's see the first method of string concatenation by plus plus operator Java string concatenation operator plus is used to add string. For example, we have a class test string concatenation one. We have method, main method inside this class, and we have string object s1, and we want to concatenate such in plus and Docker through plus operator, and then we want to print the value of the object s so it will print session tendoka on the computer screen this is the output of the string concatenation second method is string concatenation by concat method the string concat method concatenates the specified string to the end of the current string the syntax is shown in the example public string concat string another we will have a concat method and we pass another string to be concatenated let's see program example we have a class test string concatenation 3 we have main method inside the class we have object s1 of type string we sign such and we have object s2 of type string and we sign tenduka now we want to use concatenate method and assign the result of these two string to another object which is s3 s3 is an object of type string and we write s1 dot concate and we uh, pass s2 so it will add append s1 at the end of s1 it will append s2 so it will write search in and then tendoka so if we want to print the result the result will be stored in s3 so this is the output search in tendoka so now let's discuss substring what is substring a part of a string is called substring in other words substring is a subset of another string in case of substring start index is inclusive and end index is exclusive it means start index will be counted will be part of the counting and end index is not will be part of the counting it is exclusive so let's note that the index start from 0 in Java. You can get substring from the given string object by one of the two methods. Like we have public string substring, we write end and then we write start index. This method returns the new string object containing the substring of the given string from the specified start index and to be noted the start index is inclusive the start index will be counted public string substring int start index and then we, we write int index that method return new string object containing the substring of the given string from the specified start index to the end index we here we mention both of the index start index as well as the end index so it will return the middle part of the string start index is inclusive and end index is exclusive it should be noted again let's see example of a java substring so we have a class test substring we have public method of the class 
and we have a object s of type string and we sign a string such in tenduka now we want to print the substring so the object and then substring and then we pass the starting index so the starting index is 6 so it will uh, left 6 character inclusive the start so it will left s a c h i n these 6 character will left and the later the rest of the character will be printed so it will print tenduka this is the first method we use the second method is we pass two index 0 is the starting index and 6 is the ending index so it will count it the first six character which will print sechen so the output of this program will be the first uh, tenduker by the first method and the second will print sechen by the second method in which we pass two indexes the start index and the ending index and it should be noted again the start index is inclusive java string class method the java dot language dot string class provides a lot of methods to work on string by the help of these method we can perform operation on strings such as trimming concatenation converting upper to lower comparison of string replacing one string by another string and so many other types of operation so it is like the built-in function in c++ and it is part of the java dot language dot string just like in c++ we first include some library and then we use many built-in function of that string library so here we have a class java dot language dot string and we have many built-in methods which we use to do some operation java string is a powerful concept because everything is treated as a string if you submit any form in window based web based or mobile application java string to uppercase and lowercase let's uh, know about the first method of java string class this java string to upper case method convert this string into uppercase letter and the string to lowercase method into lowercase letter the first will convert to the uppercase and the second will convert the string to the lowercase for example we have s object of type string and it having a string set in now if we want to use s dot uppercase so it will convert the string set in to the uppercase and if it is in uppercase and then we use s to lowercase so it will again convert to the lowercase and if we just want to system dot out dot print and s it will just show the string in the original form so the output is the first convert to the uppercase the second convert to the lowercase and the third just show in the original form which is the sentence form second java string class method is java string trim method the string trim method eliminates white spaces before and after a string if there is some spaces in the string so it will remove the spaces before and after the string for example we have string s and we sign such in but there are spaces before and after before the starting character of the such in and after the ending character n of the such in we have white spaces so if we want to print such in without using trim so it will just print the string along with the spaces before and after the string and if we use s dot trim so it will remove the white spaces and it will show just the string only so the first will output and they will have white spaces and another 
we will not have any white spaces. Java string start with and end with method. For example, we have string is and we want to s dot start with s a and system dot out dot print ln s dot ends with. So it will print true because in the in the pool they have the string with starting with s a and ending with n. So they uh, they check some condition and they then they print true or false. Java string C H A R eight. We want to know the position of some characters through this method. The string C H A R eight method returns a character its specified index. For example, we have string C H A N and we want S dot C H A R eight zero. At zero position, which character? So it is capital S. If we want at the third, so it is in the third position it will have h actually the index start from zero so third is the fourth character so it will show s and h now java string length as we know it will print the length of the string the string length method returns the length of the string for example we have string s and then we want to uh, to know how many characters the string have so we will write s dot length and it will print the length of the string is 6 so 6 is the output because the length of the string is 6 another method uh, is another method is java string enter method a full of string initially empty is maintained privately by the class string when the entry method is invoked, if the pool already contain a string equal to this string object as determined by the equal object method, then the string from the pool is returned. Otherwise, this string object is added to the pool and a reference to this string object is returned. So, for example, we have S uh, and we created a string search in and we want to check s2 s2 dot enter so it will uh, if we want to print s2 it will print the search in because it is already available so it just assign the already available string to s2 java string value of method the string value of method Covers given type such as int, long, plural, double, boolean, character n, n character array into string. It convert the type to to string. For example, we have int a equal to ten, string s equal to string dot value of a. Then system dot out dot print s plus ten. So the output is the first string object is print the value 10 and then we write the 10 again so it will print 10 and 10. So it convert any other type to string type. Java string replace method. Next method is the replace method. The string replace method replaces all occurrence of the first sequence of character with the sequence second sequence of character so we have string s1 java is a programming language java is a platform java is in iceland string 2 replace string s1 dot replace java kava replace any word with java by kava so if we look replace string output so it replaces all the java word with kava wordy.